what's up guys welcome back to my channel happy happy friday it is the weekend it is the weekend you guys know that the weekend doesn't really matter to me um i just ex get excited because the weekend is here but i'm never off i'm never off but for those of you who are off i hope you guys had a great and productive week i hope you guys are gonna have a fun weekend ahead hope you guys are doing well this week my schedule with my videos and everything has just been really out of whack okay this has been a really weird week for me i started a juice fast and i don't know like when i when i start a juice fast it's almost like it gets a little funky my my week my days just get funky um i feel funky like <laughs> it's just been you know, I'll do a video, I'll do my videos late this week and I've been trying to get on back to gaming and I, I want to try to get back on that at least for an hour tonight. Um, the Secret Invasion, I missed last episode and the episode before that. So I definitely got some catching up to do. Um, you know, yesterday I didn't do anything. I just really needed some time to just kind of rest because when you start fasting, it starts to take some type of a weird effect on you. You know, you start detoxing and you get groggy and you get tired and you get, you know, really, um, you feel depleted even, you know what I mean? And your mind's going all over the place, you know, so it's been a funky week, but I feel like I'm getting myself back on track. Went to the gym today, had a good workout with my trainer, um, walked a little bit. Um, had a doctor's appointment and everything is looking good and I'm on the right track with everything. Um, you know, I told you guys, I think the other day started physical therapy for my knee. That's been interesting. Um, I've been doing a lot of reading, a lot of journaling. It's been putting me in such a great headspace, like mentally, spiritually, emotionally, um, physically, I'm just out of whack because of my fast. Um, but other than that, you guys have been doing pretty darn good. So, um, as always, I just want to encourage you guys to, you know, at times when, you know, and the last time I talked to you guys about changes, right? Um, and I told you guys how, you know, sometimes we get, you know, we, we get kind of stuck sometimes when we want to, we get stuck sometimes when we want to do things and we just kind of don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like which, <laughs> which way to go, you know what I mean? Um, and it's, it's that, it's not that you don't know. It's not that you don't know, um, you know, what, what you want to do or, you know, where you want to go, but, you know, I spoke to you guys about changes. I've spoken to you guys about waiting and how there are lessons to be learned in waiting. Um, you know, and that's with anything, that's with anything. And I just kind of want to piggyback off of that because for me, you know, going through, this fast and things like that a lot of the times i go through the fast because i need to detox i want to see changes or certain things with my health and you know a lot of the times i feel inflammation in the body you know and i suffer from hashimoto's which is a thyroid disease um and that's when for me uh hypothyroidism is when your body does not make enough hormones and so you know, that comes with a lot of side effects. Um, some of those side effects are, you know, losing your hair. I mean, I look like I'm losing my hair, but my hair sheds every single day. Um, you know, and as a woman, for us women, our hair is our veil. So when we see changes like that happening, it's sometimes devastating. And I've caught myself a few times teary eyed, just looking at myself in the mirror and looking at my hair because, you know, I'm a hairdresser and I took a lot of pride, you know, taking care of my hair when I was a hairdresser. And ever since I moved, I couldn't find a hairdresser that 
I can fully trust. I couldn't find a hairdresser that did, you know, what I needed her to do. And so it caused me to not be able to keep up with the way that I used to take care of my hair. But not only that, my diet was really bad when I first got out here because I was going through a lot. And, you know, a, a lot of that had to do with the stress that I was dealing with. But um, dealing with Hashimoto's also brings a lot of that as well. And so there's that. There's um, your body temperature changes because your hormones are out of whack. There's fatigue. Um, there's inflammation in the body. Um, your antibodies start to skyrocket which means that um you know your your body is on it it almost starts to get to the point where um your thyroid is attacking itself you, you know and so you know it takes a toll over your body if you're not taking care of yourself um the lack of those hormones and the lack of a uh, uh, good function in thyroid can start triggering your organs um, and so I've been on this journey for over a decade, for over a decade. I first found out about my issue. It was ugh, almost 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago, I got to say. I'm 40 now. Yeah. So almost 20 years ago, I've been dealing with this issue and it's been quite a journey for a very long time I didn't quite understand um I didn't quite understand for a couple of years what was going on with my body because you know my body was going through so many changes at one point I lost so much weight that I thought something else was wrong with me you know I've always been you know a, in a pretty healthy weight but at one point, I dropped so much weight that my clothes were so baggy. I would take pictures and you can see like my shoulder bone like just popping out. My arm was skinny. Like I was like 117. And I'm like, this isn't normal. Like something's really wrong. Something's going on. And at this point, I had no clue about, you know, natural health, holistic health or anything. So I was just doing whatever the doctors were telling me. But I was eating like crap, you know, and for many, many years, I wasn't quite understanding that there were things that I was still doing that was causing a lot of issues. Um, a lot of people don't understand that a lot of the products that you use, a lot of the things that you eat affect your thyroid and your hormones and things like that, and it makes it worse. And so, you know, over the years, I had to change what I ate. I had to change the things that I would use on my body. And, you know, along with that you know there's like i said there's fatigue there's shedding of the hair there's mood swings there's weight loss um there's you know changes with your the temperature of your body still go through that a lot of times i'm cold when everybody else seems to be comfortable or you know sometimes i'm just a little too hot and it's regulated over time but you know, and this not only is there a physical stress that comes with that, it's a lot of mental and emotional stress too, because you don't want to go through that stuff. You don't want to go through it at all. A big thing that comes with that is anxiety. Anxiety is a big um, thing when it comes to having thyroid issues. And, you know, some people deal with it okay, some people don't. I had an anxiety attack one day and it just flew off the handle for years after that to the point where I had to be on medication. So not, not only was I dealing with a thyroid issue, but I was dealing with anxiety and panic attacks and not understanding where this was coming from until I started to kind of piece things together. And, you know, along with things going on in my life, it had a lot to do with my health. It had a lot to do with the way that I was eating. And so during that time, I started to kind of do my own research and thank God, you know, to date, I've learned so much that I'm it's been over 10 years, it's been about 10 years now that I've been off of meds for anxiety. I don't deal with anxiety like that. Um, I'm getting to a place now where my thyroid is definitely on its way back to, you know, getting back to normal, um, which is great. I found some great holistic doctors. Tyrone has taught me a lot. I've, you know, definitely changed the way that I used to eat. Um, I practice a lot of, you know, meditation and journaling and praying and just making sure that my mental state is where it's supposed to be and that even took time and throughout the process of me 
you know, figuring things out, I had to be patient and, you know, I lost friendships, um, which I was okay with because sometimes when you go through changes, you're going to lose friends. You're going to, you know, alter relationships, things. When you start to elevate in any part of your life, you're going to lose something. It's going to come with a cost. And I was okay with it because at this point in my life, I am in the best place that I've ever been. And a lot of that is due to patience, growth, learning, being teachable, um, you know, and, you know, when I spoke to you guys about lessons in waiting, I wanted to just fix everything. I didn't want to have anxiety. I wanted it gone now. I didn't want the thyroid issue. I want it gone now, you know, I don't want a bad relationship. I needed it gone now. And, you know, there's a lot of things that I had to learn within that process. Now, granted, I made a lot of decisions that, you know, altered certain things that, you know, that could have happened in my life. But then there are decisions that I did make that changed my life for the better. And so, you know, with that, it, it, you know, when when you hear people say great things take time, good things take time, some people hear that and think it's cliche. But it's true because if you were given whatever you wanted and it was so good and you got it like that, what are you learning by just getting that very thing handed to you? You don't know, you know, what it feels like to put in the hard work to get that thing that you want. And I feel like that reward of getting what you want means more when you know that you've busted your behind and you've worked hard for it and you've done everything that you could and you've learned in the process and you've grown. That's what I mean by there are lessons to be learned in waiting. While you are waiting to get to that next level in your career, while you are waiting to get the, the income that you want, while you are waiting for that great relationship that you've been longing for, while you're waiting for children, while you are waiting, you know, to, to have this healthy lifestyle, you want to lose weight, you're not going to just lose weight overnight. You want that great relationship, you're not going to fall in love overnight. You want that great career, it's not going to be handed to you overnight. There are lessons to be learned in waiting. And so, you know, I've learned a lot in my life in these 40 years and I feel like my life is just starting. You know what I mean? And I say that because I've learned so much and now I am able to apply things that I've learned in my life and while I am waiting to continue to elevate. So I just want to encourage you guys that, you know, no matter what position you are in in your life right now, no matter what is going on, no matter how things look right now, Try to find a lesson in everything. I remember one day I was talking to a friend of mine and uh, me and my girlfriends were hanging out and um, she's kind of like me. She looks at lessons and everything. And that same day, I think she had broken a glass twice. And I don't know, the first time she was really frustrated. The second time it broke, she had to pause and she was just like, okay. What lesson do I need to learn right now? I'm, I can't get frustrated. I need to understand why this is happening to me again. And it, it was something minor. You think of, you know, a story, you hear something like that and you're like, okay, she dropped the glass, so what? But it's it's the mindset. It's um, looking at it like if you're in a rush, what are you in a rush to do? Were you in a rush to go do something you weren't even supposed to do? Were you rushing because you were trying to hurry up and get what you wanted out of desperation. What is it that you need to learn in that moment? You know, and I've had moments like that where it was something so small, like, why is my morning going so bad? Why am I stuck in traffic? Why did I spill my coffee? Why am I late to work? Why is everything frustrating me? Let me pause for a moment. What lesson do I need to learn here? Slow down. Slow down. Sometimes we want things when we want them. And when those things come fast, we don't know how to handle it when we get it because we didn't prepare for it. We just wanted it. So it's important to look for the lessons in everything that is going on in your life. So I just want to encourage you to do that. Take some time for yourself this weekend. Relax. Enjoy the nice weather. And try to. it's always good to check in with yourself. 
and check yourself when needed. If you're messing up, you know, about something, it's only you and you. Take time to sit there with yourself and say, you know what? I don't think I'm doing something right. Let me figure out what I'm doing wrong and fix it. Let me try to figure out a way to better myself so I can really bring in what I truly desire. Those things that I really want in my life. Why aren't they happening? Am I doing something wrong? You know, sometimes we don't want to think that we're the problem, but sometimes we are. Sometimes there is something that we are doing or shouldn't do. Um, sometimes we just need to alter these things in our life in order to make room for the things that we want. So that is my encouragement for you guys for this weekend. I know it's long winded, but I hope you guys enjoy this encouragement. I hope it inspires you um, to continue to just keep going and learn the lessons that you need to learn, whatever those lessons may be, and just keep pushing. All right. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys are up to, how you guys are doing. I hope that you have a great weekend on purpose. And as always, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up in your feed. I'll see you guys later. Toodles!